what's going on you guys welcome back to another video in this video i want to talk about ways to maintain peace and sanity but first i want to apologize about yesterday because i had every intention on coming home and record but for some reason so many things got in the way and before you know it it was late in the evening and i don't like to push out my videos late because i i know that y'all are pretty used to me you know uploading around this time of the day and i'm not too good with the um you know like setting a timer so that y'all could get a reminder of, of when i post the next video i still haven't caught on to how you do that so i just kind of uh you know post something on the community board to let y'all know when i'm gonna upload and again i apologize for that because i was so worn out yesterday when i got home i wouldn't have been no good in front of a camera <laughs> so i'm glad that i didn't uh record yesterday and i hope y'all can forgive me for that but in this video i want to talk about ways to maintain peace and sanity because a lot of times we don't understand what we're going through when we're in a relationship with a narcissist and we don't understand what we're going through when we're in a toxic situation because it's so toxic around us that it's like just think about it like if you're inhaling toxic fumes and it gets to the point where it just infumigates your whole body your whole system and so you don't really recognize the changes that are being made you know to your system it's just like your body starts to make changes slowly and it's not for the best and some of those ways that the body makes changes is you know it'll you'll start to kind of see your health decline and with that comes you know um well just speaking from a spiritual sense like um someone again who's been in a toxic relationship it's like your mind starts to become programmed to you know to respond a certain way to respond to people's expectation of you to having a hard time saying no um to having um feel uh, fear of failure you start to feel like that you can't fail because someone is expecting you to always be the winner to always come through for them to never let them down and putting off things that you once used to be so good with like scheduling and planning and you know uh going on trips and just going out for a night with your friends and stuff like that or hanging with family family night or just whatever random thing you may have going on with people you end up putting that aside that's just you know you have no time for that anymore that's it's no part of your life you only make time for this one individual and that person has pretty much got mind control over you now so all you do is overthink and please them to make sure that they stay happy and content but at the same time you know you when you're thinking that things are going well you start to see some changes and you can't quite put your finger on it like so what's going on now to the point where it's messing you know it starts to mess with your mind and you can't help but think what did i do wrong how can I make it better? You know, and so, you know, a lot of times that happen because you have a hard time saying no and I'm going to do it my way or, you know, I had other plans or I choose this over that. As long as you always give this person authority to just have total control over a situation, They'll have total control of the situation and you all of the time. And so it's like you don't even belong to yourself anymore. You start to lose your identity to the point where you even think sometimes 
and sadness may occur and you start to think to yourself like i just miss the old me i wish i was like that again you know just by looking at some old pictures of you and your friends or family or just anything that just makes you happy for the moment you know you it have you reminiscing about something you know that brings you joy and it's like you forgot how it feel to just be happy and at peace because of the current situation you are in so ways to maintain peace and sanity is to you know like uh just stop being someone who has to please others and put yourself last it's like ask yourself before you make like a final decision for anyone ask yourself is that something that you really want to do you know are you really at peace with making that decision for yourself or are you doing this to make sure that there's peace because you're making them happy like are you putting them before you to the point where you know as long as you make them happy you know you're okay but you're not completely happy you're not completely content with it you know i hope i make sense with this but as long as you continue to pe put people before you before your own feelings before your own well-being you will never be at peace and you will never have complete sanity dealing with someone who has total control over your mindset because they have pretty much got inside of your mind and control the way you think beforehand it's like they can give you a look when they ask you a question and they give you that look because they're expecting you to respond a certain way you know, it all comes down to just taking control for yourself and thinking about, you know, okay, before I make this decision, before I answer this person, before I respond to them, how is it going to make me feel? Because as long as you only think about giving them what they need to make sure that they feel great all the time, you're going to always put yourself last. And yes, sometimes it is good to put other people before you, but it all depends, you know. And I'm not saying it in a way like never put anyone before you, never think about anyone before yourself. I'm not saying be selfish. And you can be selfish and selfless at the same time. But it's a difference because, you know, it depends on what's necessary for you to maintain peace of mind for self. You know, you don't want to go through life being a people pleaser because you will completely wear yourself out. I know I've been there. It has been hard for me to tell people no. It's been hard for me to slow down to the point where sometimes I just wanted to rest and I couldn't make myself say it because I wanted to make sure that they had a good time. And that's not a way of living. That is not a healthy way of living. You have to start to slow down, give your body the rest that it needs so that your mind can be at ease and can focus. Because when you're constantly maneuvering on someone else's plans, you know, it's just like you're never going to catch up to your own thoughts. Again, you kind of forget how to think for yourself. Because you're so bent out on making sure other people are happy. And I'm not just talking about like in a narcissistic relationship. Just just with toxic people in general. Even in a workplace. There are people in a workplace who are not necessarily narcissists. But they have, they carry this very heavy toxic energy. And you feel it when they come around you because they put you on edge. To the point you have to brace yourself and, you know, like prep yourself up to respond to them a certain way because you know what they expect out of you. But start putting yourself first to the point where when you know that they are about to approach you, 
you stop them in their tracks and tell them no. And it's not going to be easy transitioning from being one way to another, but it's necessary. It's necessary to maintain peace and sanity. Because when you just do you and put yourself first, you know, it makes others unhappy. One, because they think they're entitled to you. Two, because they have this huge ego and they just think that they're God's gift to the world. Meaning you have to just please them. You have to cater to them. They depend on you to be a certain way for them to make them happy. You know, and in the midst of that, you just lose yourself. But you have to start to just reprogram your thoughts to the point where just try your hardest to put self first. When people overthink a lot of that, you know, that comes up under anxiety, you know, and it comes from depression. You overthinking, you're worrying. I know because I've been there. And sometimes I have my moments, but I quickly pull myself out of it because of how I think. And sometimes it can get scary when you're dealing with people who are in a certain position, you know, and they have certain authority over you in the workplace. Sometimes it's hard to uh, stand up to them when they're just picking on you for no reason. You know, just those toxic people that they use their title, you know, to boss up on you and belittle you. If it wasn't for that, you know, they wouldn't have nothing to stand on. It's like they're they're really cowards. And they lack common sense. They could be book smart, but a lot of times they lack common sense. They're so big on, you know, just the throwing things in your face about what they know. And they, they use that to kind of tame you to stay in one position because they don't want you to get ahead of them. It's like they don't want to see you. They pretend like they want to see you at your best, but as long as you're not better than them. And they want to make you feel like it's such a hard position to fulfill when you are trying to, you know, level up to that position. But it was a piece of cake for them. And once since they brag about it, and the next minute they're telling you how difficult it is because now they see that you're interested in it. You know, narcissists are huge competitors and they think that they always think that someone is trying to go up against them. Even when that's the furthest thing from your mind, like nobody is trying to compete with you. I'm not trying to race you. What I want, I want it because I have a genuine interest in it. I'm not thinking about, you know, I can be better at it than you. But that's how the narcissist thinks. And when you are putting yourself to the side and procrastinating and under planning for the simple fact that the narcissist, you know, you're worried about what they're going to think, you're only beating yourself. You know, like they say, you're your, you're your worst critic. So however it goes, you know, it's like, you know, you're your worst enemy. Because you're beating yourself up for the narcissist. You're making it easy for them. Because it's like, again, they can give you that look. And that look, that look can give you a feeling of doubt. And that's one of the worst feelings ever. You know, I just went through a season of doubt. And feeling down and weary and defeated. And overwhelmed with thoughts of what should I do? You know, thoughts of confusion. And I had to take that little time out to get myself together. You know, and figure out what's best. What's best for me to do? You know, as far as, um, as, far as this journey that I'm taking to help other people. Because it's not even about me. 
but how well will I get the message out if I'm not at my best? You know, like I need to be a hundred, but at the same time, sometimes I need to refuel, you know, I just need to reload, get myself together. All of us, all of us have to get that way sometimes. We get that way sometimes, you know, it gets to the point. To where we kind of just run out of gas. And we have to fuel up again. Because even in teaching, you can become draining. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. Because to me, it's a gift. It's a blessing. I'm just saying that it happens. And it's necessary for us to take time out. Even for that. Even in a good season. You know. My season was mixed with good and bad, but, you know, we talked about that. But the thing about it is you have to put yourself first. You have to know when to slow down or you're going to get burned out. And while you're getting burned out, they're living their best life because it's like you're pretty much carrying the weight to make someone else happy. You know, and that whole being afraid to fail you don't ever want to be afraid to fail. Try first. You have to try. You got to put forth the effort. If this is something that you really, really want to do, never let your thoughts get in the way of like, maybe I shouldn't because how someone else is going to feel. No, it's about you. It's about you and what you want to do and how it makes you feel and how it you know how it makes you grow. It gives you growth. It gives you happiness. It gives you peace. Think about those things. What makes you happy? What do you want to do? If someone is really for you and really support you, you know, if they are a true supporter, they wouldn't take away your moment by, you know, always pointing out the worst that can happen only narcissists think that way and they do that because you take supply away from them you're taken away from them when you do for you so do you put you first keep you first and keep in mind that if that person is truly for you that they would stick around and they will be understanding open-minded supportive you know and positive. That's the type of energy you want to keep around you. Not negative energy. Someone who's always doubting your thoughts. Doubting your plans. You know. Doubting your efforts. Or very critical of your efforts. And your way of doing things. Who wants to have that around them? Who wants to hear that all the time? It only wears down your spirit. They live to kill your spirit. They want to destroy you. That's their main goal at the end of the day. They need you to lift them up and make them look a certain way. And all of the energy that it takes to continue to play that role for them, you could be putting it into yourself. And that is what helps you maintain peace and sanity. It's putting self first. Once you stop having a hard time saying no, it's going to be so much easier for you. You know, it's going to get easier for you to say no. Because it's like things are going to start. You're going to feel that weight lifted off your shoulder. And things are going to start looking more clearer to you. You know, you'll be able to recognize that person for who they are. Like, it seems like you're a little jealous of me. Sometimes you have to put people to the test to see their true character. Because, again, if they're really for you, they wouldn't be jealous of you or always doubting you. Unless, you you know, you're making bad decisions. You know, something that can really bring you harm. Something that's not good for you at all. And anyone can see that coming. But, you know, narcissists know they just don't want to see you shine at all. So you have to start to put yourself first in order to maintain peace and sanity. So I hope this video was helpful to anyone. I'm trying to get back in this thing on a regular basis. 
So I want to thank y'all for watching. Leave a 